Okay, this is the second part of the 5-8 special right triangles. And what we're going to talk about in this section is the 30-60-90 triangle theorem. Okay, so let me prove to you all how they get this theorem. So let's say we have an equal angular triangle. Let's call it P, Q, R. Okay, so you know that all these measures here are 60 degrees. Okay, so we're going to bisect this segment PR, and we're going to say that from here to here is X, and from here to here is X. Okay, so the total distance here is 2X. Well, an equal angular has an equilateral, so this segment here is 2x, this segment here is 2x. This forms a right angle. Okay, so let's rewrite this triangle right here. So we have x, we have 2x. We don't know what this is. This angle here is 60 degrees. If this is an angle bisector, this angle here is 30 degrees. Okay, so let's see what we can find out what this is right here. And we're going to use Pythagorean theorem. Okay, and we're missing a leg here. So, um, let's just leave that A squared, substitute in for the other leg, substitute in for the hypotenuse. x squared find out what that other leg measurement is okay so what this is saying is is across from the smaller angle the 30 degree angle you're going to have a measurement of x the hypotenuse is going to be double that smaller segment Across from the larger angle, the 60 degree angle, you're going to have x square root of 3. And that's what this 30-60 triangle theorem is telling you. Across from the 30 degree angle, you're going to have a measurement of s. Your hypotenuse is double that short segment. Across from the 60 degree angle is going to be that short segment times the square root of 3. Well, let's apply this. Okay, find the value of x and y. Give your answers in simplest radical form. Okay, so let's solve for x first. Um, the hypotenuse equals 2 times your shorter side, right? Okay, well on here your hypotenuse is 22. And your shorter side is across from the 30 degree angle, that is x. So we can solve for x here. So x is 11. Okay, and then for y, um, we said that across from the 60 degree angle, it's your shorter side times the square root of 3. Okay, where our shorter side is... 11, so y is going to be the square, sorry, y is going to be 11 times the square root of 3. Okay, the measurement that is given here is 15, and it's across from that 60 degree angle. So remember the long side, um, or if you want to call it across from the 60 degree angle, is where we have S square root of 3. Okay, so if the long side 
across the angle is 15, that equals the measurement of the shorter side times the square root of 3. Well, the shorter side is across in the 30 degree, and that's our variable x. So let's change this to x, and we can now solve for x. So x equals 15 divided by the square root of 3, but remember you cannot have a radical as your denominator. So we need to cancel that out. So it's going to be 15 square root of 3 over 3, which is actually 5 square root of 3. So x equals 5 square root of 3. Now our y is our hypotenuse. y is our hypotenuse, and remember our hypotenuse is where we take the shorter side and we double it, okay? Well, let's substitute in. Our hypotenuse is y, and our shorter side is x. Well, x, we said, was 5 times the square root of 3. So y is 2 times 5, which is 10 square root of 3. Okay, be quiet. Let you all try this one on your own. Okay, same thing, finding x and y. So, let's see, we've got our shorter side. So, our shorter side, s equals 5. So, for the hypotenuse, which is y, it's where we double it. So, it's 2 times s, which is 10. And then for our longer side, if this is 90 and this is 30, this here is 60 degrees. Our longer side, which is x, is where we take the shorter side, which is 5, and times it by the square root of 3. And I'm going to be quiet. Let y'all do this one on your own.
that's it guys have a good one